one last tiny thing. I saw you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best horror movies of 2020. What? Ah! Your life is not yours. For this list, we'll be looking at the scariest and most critically acclaimed horror movies that were released in theaters or through streaming and on demand throughout 2020. Have you caught up on your movie collection throughout 2020? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Host. Hey guys, look at this. This is going to be us later. Oh, Emma, no. not funny. Horror movies often reflect our real world fears. By that measure, Host is by far the scariest and most relevant horror movie of 2020. The movie takes place during COVID lockdowns as six friends conduct a seance over Zoom. Naturally, things go totally off the rails. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Something just touched my neck. Host was filmed remotely throughout quarantine, with the individual actors needing to set up their own lighting and cameras and even arrange a few practical effects, all with their director instructing them remotely. Many critics have praised the movie for its themes surrounding social alienation, and in that way, it is the defining movie of 2020. Number 9. Swallow. Sorry. This ice is totally awesome. While Swallow premiered at Tribeca in 2019, it wasn't commercially released until March of 2020. Like most great horror movies, Swallow sneaks in some wonderful social commentary amidst its horrors and freakouts. In this one, an unhappy and isolated housewife named Hunter begins eating inedible objects. Looks like there's something else inside there. Hunter is brilliantly played by Haley Bennett, and if the world is a right and just place, this will prove to be her breakout role. The movie was also influenced by Rosemary's Baby, with production designer Aaron Miguel telling Nightmare on Film Street that the movie's visual aesthetics were heavily modeled after Roman Polanski's masterpiece. I've never done anything like this before. I can't... I can't help it. Number 8. Sputnik for those looking for a good alien movie, be sure to check out Igor Abramenko's Sputnik. This is a Russian film that takes place in 1983 at the tail end of the Cold War. A controversial psychiatrist is brought in to assess a cosmonaut who has just returned from space. There is something clearly wrong with the man, and the psychiatrist learns that he is unknowingly harboring an alien life form. The movie was widely praised for its character work, performances, and old-school creature feature story, complete with all the disgusting B-movie gore one could ask for. It's certainly not high art, but then again, who wanted that? <laughs> Number 7. Relic uh, Look, I'm just calling about your mum. The neighbors haven't seen her in a few days. I've been by a house without much luck. Produced by Jake Gyllenhaal and led by the reliably fantastic Emily Mortimer, Relic is easily one of the finest horror movies of the year. The film is about one of the scariest horrors rooted in reality, the terrible disease of dementia. An elderly woman suffering from dementia goes missing and later reappears to her daughter and granddaughter. After returning, she begins acting increasingly erratic and unstable, possibly under the influence of a harmful presence. This is mine. Yeah, grown you gave You're it trying to, to steal from me. You're trying to no, rob me. Remember when give you give it, give it back. Give it back. It's a scary story with brains and a heart, and it's filled with some truly unbearable dread. Mix that with the everyday horror of dementia, and you have a modern horror masterpiece. And its deft blend of horror and reality proves that Natalie Erica James is a director to watch in the future. No! No, what are you doing, Mum? Stop it! Mom! Number six, color out of space. While H.P. Lovecraft is one of the most famous horror writers, his work is so individualistic that it makes film adaptations incredibly difficult, and the results often divide viewers. That said, Richard Stanley's Color Out of Space is one of the all-time best Lovecraft adaptations. 
Based on Lovecraft's iconic short story from 1927, the film brings the events into the modern era. Starring a game Nicolas Cage as Nathan Gardner, the story concerns the Gardner farm and its inhabitants being invaded by a mysterious alien life form. We couldn't even get through, and believe me, we tried. She's telling the truth, Dad. Something I, I, weird is going on. I don't want to hear your excuses you know either, I Benny. Cage is his typically committed and bizarre self, and the movie's visual effects are simply stunning, especially the scenes involving the vibrant color. It also contains shades of The Shining, as a strong family unit is violently disintegrated by a supernatural force. It's simply an excellent movie. I don't know what I believe anymore. Number 5. She Dies Tomorrow I can barely hear you. Are you okay? Not really. Just hearing that title alone is enough to give someone goosebumps. She Dies Tomorrow concerns Amy, a young woman who is convinced that she is going to die the following day. Her paranoia proves contagious, and anyone she tells becomes convinced that they are going to die. It's a pretty spooky concept, and it's handled well by writer-director Amy Simetz. The movie is also far funnier than one may expect, as Simetz beautifully blends horror with some absurdist comedy. I know that I'm going to die tomorrow. Okay, great. So you don't know. Simetz wrote the movie based on her experiences with anxiety and panic attacks, and as such, the movie's story and themes are rooted in an unnerving reality. Like Relic, She Dies Tomorrow is horrifying for what it suggests about real-world fears. This is how it ends. Number 4. I'm Thinking of Ending Things Maybe it's unfair of me to be going on this trip with Jake. I'm so uncertain about our future, our lack of it. Directed by the acclaimed Charlie Kaufman, Netflix's I'm Thinking of Ending Things was one of the greatest streaming releases of the fall 2020 season. The movie concerns a young woman who is disillusioned with her short relationship and is thinking of breaking up with her boyfriend. While contemplating this, she is taken to meet her boyfriend's parents at their secluded farm. Of course, this being a Charlie Kaufman movie, it's far more complex than that. Why didn't we get the genius? There is no! Genius. Addition. The psychological story is told in a surreal and artful manner. It's rife with symbolism and chaotic dream imagery. And the movie is led by a stellar cast, including Jesse Plemons, Tony Collette, David Thewlis, and Jesse Buckley of Chernobyl fame. I feel uncertain about a lot of what happened tonight. Number 3. Possessor Uncut You're not safe for them anymore, are you? You told me yourself you'd become a danger. Sci-fi horror can be tricky to pull off, but Possessor Uncut makes it look easy. The story takes place in a distant future where a secret organization uses brain implant technology to possess people and make them carry out assassinations. It sounds like a fun action sci-fi thriller, but writer-director Brandon Cronenberg uses it as a vessel for horror. Don't sound so worried. I'm one-to-one -one with the host right now. I can feel it. Completely clear. Cronenberg obviously learned a lot from his famous and influential father, David, as Possessor Uncut also embodies fears around the human mind and body, not to mention a dose of exquisite and revolting body horror. The movie also looks amazing and is led by a commanding performance from Andrea Riceborough. Cronenberg looks like a sure bet to continue his father's legacy. Uh, they attacked me, and all, all I was doing was defending myself. Number 2. His House We don't belong here. Horror lovers, you may now rejoice. The first great haunted house movie of the 2020s is here. This terrifying Netflix original centers on Baal and Rial, South Sudanese refugees attempting to make a new life for themselves in London, England in the wake of tragedy. It quickly becomes clear that an evil presence has followed them there, and it wants something. After all we've endured, after what we have seen, what men can do? You think it is bumps in the night that frightened me? Fans of such recent genre classics as The Witch and Hereditary will be sucked in, owing to its arresting imagery, next-level nightmare sequences, topical themes, and commanding lead performances by Wumi Musaku and Shope Di Risu. It goes without saying that we can't wait to see what writer-director Remy Weeks has up his sleeve next. This is my house! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Come to Daddy brutal black comedy led by Elijah Wood. I thought you wanted to die. I, I didn't. I don't. Please, Dad, don't. Blood Quantum, a zombie flick about colonialism. Don't get bit.
Tell her I'll be right there. La Llorona, a terrific Spanish film, not to be confused with the goofy conjuring one. <laughs> the Platform, engaging dystopian thriller with smart social commentary. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Invisible Man Are you okay? I'll explain later. Just go, Emily. Go. <laughs> Take note, this is how you bring old stories into the modern era. Written and directed by Lee Winnell of Saw fame, The Invisible Man updates H.G. Wells' classic science fiction novel for the 21st century. It stars the always incredible Elizabeth Moss as Cecilia Cass, a woman who believes that her ex is stalking her with technology that allows him to become invisible. Others don't believe her as the ex is supposed to be dead. He has figured out a way to be invisible. The film is mainly about abuse and the haunting effects it leaves on someone's psyche, but it also works as a straightforward sci-fi tale about invisible people. No matter how you view it, The Invisible Man is terrifying. There you are. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.